Chef Katie. We'll do Beardo first because uh, Beardo <laughs> reminds me of my good friend Eric from Alaska. Eric is uh, about yay tall. He's a really great, uh, he's like a, a muscular hobbit. Uh, his stature and the hair on his feet. Uh, also his eating habits and just general spryness. Um, he's a guy who really goes for tradition, and one tradition he has is he goes to Leavenworth, Washington for Oktoberfest. Anyone been for Oktoberfest? One guy, excellent. Uh, well, he had a good time, because he certainly does. Uh, every year he gets plowed beyond belief, and then makes a run late at night down to a river and goes swimming, which is incredibly dangerous. Uh, and so I went uh, for the first time with him when he was on his third journey for this, and we were hoping to kind of subdue him before he got on to his personal adventure. So we got back to the campsite, and he was, uh, you know, doing snow angels in the grass where there was no snow. Uh, and uh, we were getting ready to get into tents and call it a night, and he's just looking into the darkness. We kind of just see him eyeing it. And we were talking, and then before we know it, he just says, I'll be back in two hours, and disappears. <laughs> now, Eric's not walking. He's not, he's not running. He is bolting into the darkness on his own. He can't see. He doesn't have night vision like hobbits, okay? So I chase him with a flashlight, and I get down there, and he's running through people's property who are yelling at him. And we get down by the river, and he kind of collapses, and I grab him. I'm like, you're not going to go swimming. He's like, no. I just want to look at the stars. So I sit down next to him. We have a little talk. He's kind of calm. He's starting to take off his shirt. I'm like, stop that. <laughs> I'm not going in the river. All right? So, yeah, okay. So we kind of have a conversation. I edge him down. He's, he's cool. I'm like, okay, I think I saved my friends. If he goes when he's this drunk, he will drown. All right? This river is, is pretty rapid. All right, we're good. We start walking back to the camp. Thank God I've got him safely in. Turns out that night he slept in his sleeping bag head first. <laughs> <laughs> and passed out. <laughs> he barely survived. <laughs> I'll be back in two hours. <laughs> Aren't you going to try and stop me? Oh, oh, can you stop, please? <laughs> it's, you just, I wanted to, you know, honor what you had to do or whatever. But, but, but I, I'm out, about to do something very, very dangerous. Oh. Um, I mean, if, if, wait, if you, you love me, you should stop me. So you want me to stop you, but you want to do the dangerous thing. Oh. Yes. Stop. Exactly. Okay. Go. Do it, and then stop. <laughs> I don't think we're on the same page here. <laughs> you see, this this is why this is why we're perfect because you're supposed to be my mother. <laughs> I I tell you, I'm gonna do a stupid and incredibly dangerous thing, and I want you to stop me. You want me to stop? I Honey. want you to stop me. So, so let's you'll try think I'm step. a good mother if I stop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> got it. I got it. I'm leaving for two hours. Stop! Stop! Please. You can't make me. Stop. <laughs> I want you to stop what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> but but I I want to I want to go do the incredibly dangerous thing. Please, son, don't go. <laughs> This is so hot. <laughs> I signed up for these swimming lessons because I have a, a specific task in mind that I want to do. And um, I just need to drink these beers first. Just get off the board! We all have our fears to face. <laughs> you guys, I have other appointments. Once you know, I, once I once I down these these two beers, then I I'll have the courage to to jump off the board. Okay? There's a line. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Chug the beers. Pool closes in five minutes. God. <laughs> Inject the heroin and jump off. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, I'm serious. I'm gonna jump now. I'm I'm really gonna do it. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. I wish I could be as strong as you. I. No, I, I can't do it. I'm gonna climb Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.
This time I'm really gonna do it. I'm really gonna jump this time. Enough. I'm gonna. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Think I'm trapped in this bag. Where's the bag? <laughs> I'm in it. Can't you see me? I can't I... see anything. Is that you? What do you think? <laughs> can, oh, can you can you unzip the side? I think the zipper's caught or pull it off. It's really dark in here. All right. Getting I'm hot. It. <laughs> Teammates, I am also in a bag. <laughs> If you're really my captain, you will unzip me first. <laughs> Help! God. You were doing it. I am feeling less appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need to help him unzip his bag. Oh no, the bottomless pit. Ah! <laughs> it was too late. You were supposed to save us all. You only got me. There's three more people out there stuck in their bags like that. <laughs> Help! I feel the others near. <laughs> no, I can feel you. Do it. Ow! Watch out for the bottom of the pit! You're getting close to the pit's oh, edge! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got you too. I know. We never started working at REI. Jeez, every time. <laughs> so, uh, here's yeah. the bottomless pit. Oh. Um, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's spacious. Yeah, there's a nice uh, granite countertop. Ooh, yeah. uh, you could really just expand in here. Yeah, I mean, it's, I feel like I feel like the bottomless pit really makes the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, and that snook over there. See the nook beyond the pit? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Thomas, you know, I never thought anything of you on our rugby team. I know. But your now decorating we're... skills. I know. So good. What a well, well, Oh my god. Thomas, we can't live here. What? The basement is full of bodies. Full of them. Wait, wait, so you're telling me the bags. There actually is a bottom? There's a bottom. Also, that is a lie. This is not a bottomless pit. <laughs> this listing is a fraud. I I'm gonna report this to the realty board. I'm gonna report this to the morgue. And to the police. And to and Barack Obama. <laughs> Jesus, they need affordable care. You know, this sounds like a lot, a lot of work. So, uh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, one monologue about my wife, Katie. Uh, <laughs> I really love her. Uh, we don't have the greatest of me asking her out stories. Uh, we went to college together. We did a show uh, called Streetcar Named Desire, and um, she was uh, off for rehearsal. She wasn't in rehearsal one night, and I was. And I texted her. I was like, hey, can I stop by your dorm and talk to you? Because um, I was finally going to ask her out and say, you know, we should be a, you know, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I went to her apartment and, or her dorm, and she had just gotten out of the shower, so she was not ready at all. Uh, she um, opened the door, and um, we talked, and I said, you know, I, I really enjoy uh, the time we spend together, so we should do this more often. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, I'm usually a little bit more clear, but I wasn't that day. Uh, and she said, oh, okay, great. And, I, and so I said, so you want to just go out more and let's just go out tomorrow night? And there, there it was. So yes, excellent, cool. All right, good. Talked for a few more minutes. All right, I got to go. Okay, cool. I went to the door and turned around and said, uh, pleasure doing business with you. And so, <laughs> where that came from. <laughs> she shook my hand and said, all right, I'll see you later. And then smiled like it was a joke. Closed the door. Find out several months later that when she closed that door, she's like, what just happened? <laughs> did he ask me out? And she didn't know. <laughs> and it took just kind of verbal hints the next couple days for her to get it. <laughs> Yeah, you ever wanna get hitchhiking over across the country again, you know, give me a call. 
<laughs> hey, uh, what's your number? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean like my digits? Yeah, I'll give you those. Uh, you see, you know, 503 312 9827. That's a real number. <laughs> I, I just been calling you Mr. Trucker. I mean, you, uh, you have a name too, or I want to. Fancy boy. Go shirtless. <laughs> Alright, it's a hot day. I get it. <laughs> uh, me and my partner, uh, Officer Larrabee, are going to need to see uh, both of you hands up on the, on the dash. Hey, Steven. Hey, Wilbur. <laughs> He's a regular on the road. What? He gives his number out to a lot of boys. <laughs> Jack Kerouac style, right, Jim? <laughs> I don't think you read on the road, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need a, I need a moment with my partner. <laughs> this is a conflict of, this is a conflict of interest. Does <laughs> I know him? Yeah! You know, they got their bags to us right now. You say your name is Fancy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a procedure we don't stand directly in front of the back truck? Yes, that is a procedure, but <laughs> yeah. he's on Facebook. If you know them, and I thought I was going to be a bad cop. All right, you be the bad cop, I'll be the friendly cop. No, I know them. Wait, I just heard bad cop. I love this routine. Okay, I'll be the bad cop. <laughs> I'll be the bad cop, you be the mysterious sexy cop, okay? Mysterious sexy cop, got okay. it. <laughs> All right, you two, you jerks. Yeah. You know, you were driving in here without a shirt and not okay. I got my own cuffs this time. <laughs> As you can tell, my partner is really giving you the treatment. The treatment. <laughs> There you are, Stella. <laughs> you always come right when I need you. <laughs> We've been living in this cramped apartment for so long. I think, I think we should we should probably upgrade. Oh, wow. This is really happening. Yeah, this is, uh, I've, uh, I've been looking at houses and, uh, and I thought, uh... Okay, all right. <laughs> we're, gonna move to a bigger, we're gonna move to a bigger house together. Awesome! And uh, if we're gonna move in together in a big house... We're gonna be Facebook friends finally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're no. gonna be Facebook friends, yeah. Awesome! What do you think about that? Oh god, I think it's about time! <laughs> I mean, it was... I'm gonna... Like, yeah, I'm gonna okay, change my I'm gonna change my Facebook status. <laughs> oh my God, he did that! I know, I know. In Virginia? Wait, what? That's straight murder. I don't, I, I don't care. Whatever that was his past. Do you see what he's saying about me and us? Yeah, I'm together. Gonna... <laughs> Still, I may have had a questionable past, <laughs> but it's me and you now. Present. It's me and you against the world. Yep, and I'm mine. And I would never, ever murder anybody unless it was for you. <laughs> I'm going to murder for my girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, I mean, he is just trying to be romantic. He I get the his friends or her friends. No, look, I'm gonna support. murder someone. He's just joking. He's just joking. Someone's closer to her right now than it is. So, uh, I noticed your Facebook friends with my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I just, uh, I just 
just like, I kind of just wanted to like. <laughs> <laughs> Feel very clear about what you mean. I'm not really getting. <laughs> Wait, she didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I even told her. What do you whoop? See? I was like, and that's it. Yeah, she's like special needs. I think she's like. So I went home after last night and I like tried to Google the sounds, but it's like, yeah. it was like it was just letters. I don't. It was a weird video, but I don't think that's what you mean. I'm not. I'm still. I don't know. We need to work through this. I don't. I just. That's all I wanted to do. That was it the whole time. I'm trying to end of that. I like, I like to be shook. <laughs> <laughs> I just ask you if you want to fuck, okay? I just... <laughs> Straight to it. Right. Uh, Lion King, Tom Hanks in the Money Pit, uh, and chocolate syrup. Uh, Lion King reminds me for some reason, of a band called The Sword. Anybody heard of The Sword? No, all right, great. Uh, check them out, they're awesome. Uh, I went to a, they're a heavy metal band, and I went to a heavy metal show. They were opening for Metallica back in like 2009 or so, and I, I could hold my own on the floor against some pretty big guys. I'm, I'm kind of average in size. I was with my buddy Eric, the athletic hobbit, actually. And uh, we got there early, so we were right on the front line. And when Metallica plays, they play in the round, so there's a lot of front line to have, so there's some prime real estate. So we got there early, kind of put our arms on the railing to kind of secure our spot. But you see, Eric's stature in that kind of environment attracts real big guys. Because they can just push right past him. Or they think. So we're standing there having a good time, and then this, like, I want to say six foot five bald dude with a, a leather. Uh, vest and not much else under that mustache and arms about the size of tree trunks just stands right over my shoulder like this and just breathes. Uh, through his immense cavernous nostrils. And I just feel him like, and I look at him and I'm like, as if that's going to persuade him to do anything. He'll just look right back at me. <laughs> so the sh immediately. The, the lights go dark, his hands go under the rail, and he goes like this, and he pushes, and Eric and I go, Grah! and we, we hold on for dear life, and somehow we managed to just hold on for about 60 seconds while he pulled, and we pulled, and he backed up, and then he started thrashing. And so we're, we're doing the metal show like this, not of our own volition. And the security guy is looking at me, I'm like, you gotta help. He's like, it's a metal show, dude. I'm like, this is not a metal show. And this is not it. Eventually, the guy tips over someone's drinks, so the security pulls him out. But after that, just more dudes keep coming on, just bracing themselves on the on the railing like this, so you're just stuck. And then it's just this. <laughs> uh, look at that mosh pit over there. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Premature baby of an adult. Uh, oh. No. We, we gotta get in there. Uh, <laughs> we're really in there. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, Carl. Uh, Carl. Carl. He's doing alright. I think he's doing alright. He's, like, he's, 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 he's only weeping a little bit. My ribs. <laughs> he's, he's, it's, it's a minor fracture of the ribs. Yeah. Take some dates. We can't really. Yeah. I saw the sign. <laughs> oh, they're not my no, I'm so they're open. There's something that's drawing me to him. Okay, you go. We'll go, 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 here. Carl. Do what you can, Carl. Oh no, they're wow. ripping.
Whoa, Carl. Carl. Now you I just want to protect you. <laughs> Carl, you're, uh, you're kind of violating some professional boundaries uh, with that hug back there. I take my work personally. I take everyone that I rescue from the mosh pit personally. Hey, let's go get him back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really tall. I can't see the show. Uh, Watch, get in front. Yeah, get in front. Get in front. <laughs> <laughs>